you talked the other day about the special teams, um, and particularly in the Memphis game. Can you expand on what you, Barta and, and Creeby have done this year? Well, that kick at the end of the half was huge. Mm -hmm, the field you know, goal? I mean, yeah, field goal. I mean, no, we'd still be happy to go up 14-0. But when he kicked it, it just added life to us. We had a little, you know, pep to our step as we walked in, you know, went in for halftime, gave us a lot of momentum. Uh, obviously, the uh, punts, with that offense, man, you want to keep them as far away from the end zone as you can. And, you know, and flip field position. Twice, you know I mean? Just great uh, punts. And so, you know, the special teams have been really good for us. And, you know, Alex has done a really good job. Uh, Greeby's done a good job. And Anton, which, again, nobody talks about, which you don't want to talk about, mm -hmm. but he's been solid in his snapping. And Barta, I mean, obviously that was a question mark with losing Pablo, who was a proven punter. You didn't really know for sure what you were going to get out of Barta in games, but he seems like he's been a cool customer. Oh, he's done a really good job. You know, I mean, it just, I mean, every punt you want to do, uh, you know, as best you can. He's he's had some bad punts, but for the most part, he's punting really, really well. And then last but not least for me, the defense. Um, we've talked a lot about how great the defense has been. Is there, as you look at it, is there any reason why, in your opinion? Is there? I mean, do you think it's because there's veterans at certain spots, or is it some guys who are new first-year starters, maybe better than we thought, like Micah Thomas? Uh, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. I think, you know, Coach Pearson and the defense staff have done a really good job of putting them in position to be successful. Obviously, the players have played really well. I think it has started up front with Bernie, um, Will, and Amos have been really stout. Our edge guys have been really, really good. Our, all of the outside linebackers that have played, uh, inside backers are playing well, and so is our second. I just think we're playing well collectively as a group, and the, our defensive staff is you know, coming up with really good game plans. So uh, hopefully we can continue that this week. Oh, thanks. We've heard a lot about the 1-0 mantra about Got to go one and zero. Got to go one and zero. A lot, a lot, a lot of teams give that lip service. You guys seem to have really bought into that. How have you done it? Um, it started over the summer uh, workouts. We just say we want to take everything one at a time. So one workout. I started with one workout. Make sure we work that workout. Make that one one rep. One everything. Take it as hard as you can go. Then it leads to practice. One rep at practice. Then from run practice go to one game. We take one game at a time and then just go on and on and on. So we take every game serious. Every game is the same. We treat it as a Super Bowl for us. So everything is one and zero. Is this a tougher week to do it when everybody around the academy, around the yard, in and out of uh, uh, the yard telling you guys how great you are? <laughs> I mean, not really. We just keep everything internal from the first game. We just say everything, the outside pressure is not, a, not going to affect us. We're going to take everything serious as ourselves, one game at a time, one and zero. So Notre Dame, we're going to play the same way we play at Memphis, the same way we play at Colgate. Every game is going to be the same for us. There's been a lot of talk about the versatility on offense, the number of weapons you guys have. Coach and I were talking yesterday about your, not just you personally, but all the wing backs and the skilled players' ability to block. And he said that basically comes in here, and you guys are basically taught that. Because you learn, you learn it in high school, a lot of guys are, are taught it here. That's a, that might be the epitome of being unselfish, to block for someone else. Where does that come from? I mean, being in the same meeting room with the same person all the time, you get to know everybody. So it's like a bun. We all are brothers, so we don't want to get our, our brother hurt. So when we go out there, we see no matter who the guys, we don't we don't want our brother to get hurt. So we can go out and block them as hard as we can because we know if we get the ball, they're gonna do the same thing for us. So that's built as a freshman when you first get your first meeting, you meet the whole senior group and the juniors and sophomores. So you're like, oh, this is a family. Everybody treats each other as a family. And so as we grow up in our ranking in our years, we be like the, we become the head and we see how everything is built. So just one big family and we don't want to get nobody hurt. So would you rather throw a block to spring Damon Brown or someone or would you rather have someone do that for you? I'd rather spring the block. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just the way it is. I'm not I don't it don't matter I'm not selfish so if they if they feel like the team is gonna like look at me more, I'll let Damon get the block. If they're looking at Damon more I'll get the run. It doesn't matter to me but I'd rather throw the block. Did you have any idea how open you were? how wide open you were until you looked at the tape uh, after the game the other night? I mean, after I thought I made the catch and I took my initial scan to the left, I didn't see no one. So it was just like, there's no way I can let somebody catch me right now. So I just ran as fast as I could and made sure no one ever catch me. Any pressure on that play? You were so wide open that you're like, oh, man, I got to catch this. 
it was pressure because you know if I dropped the catch, then everybody would be like, oh, you dropped a wide open pass, and I never hear the end of it. And also at the same time, when I make the catch, I can't get caught because I never hear the end of that either. <laughs> so that's the same thing with the family <laughs> in the lock and I'm in the, in the meeting rooms. If we get drop a pass or we mess up on the, like a twirl, twirl or anything, we always make fun of each other. So I couldn't get caught or I couldn't drop the pass. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that crossed your mind too when you cross <laughs> when you when you hit the end zone. You're probably thinking, oh man, now I can look at the tape now. Yeah, right? it was a relief. I thought I went to the end zone. I was like, yes, they can't say anything to me now. Maybe they can say how fast I run or something, but they can't say nothing about me dropping it or getting caught. So how does a young guy who's a four sport four sport standout athlete in, in a small town in Mississippi end up here at the U.S. Naval Academy? Well, it was all all luck, honestly. Uh, my recruiting coach in high school he just asked me one day, he was like, "How do you feel about going to like a service academy?" I was like. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He likes like Army or Navy or Air Force. I was like, he's like, the offense will, pretty, will fit you. I was like, uh, I mean, I can look into it. That sounds like a perfect fit for me. I want to get away from Mississippi anyway, so that sounds like something I want to do. And so uh, he called Coach Jones, and uh, Coach Jones came down and saw me. He said he liked what he saw, so I was fortunate enough to be able to come here. Baseball or football was your favorite in high school? Baseball. Baseball, was it? Which, what position? Let me guess, second baseman. Uh, I started at center field. I really love center field, and they moved me to shortstop. Ah, okay. Short or second? I, was <laughs> I played second, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, um, today's Veterans Day, and if there's any place in the country that probably has observed that more than down here, I, you know, I like to see it. But uh, uh, did you take a minute maybe today to reflect at all on what that means, being a student at the U.S. Naval Academy? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, we think about becoming, coming to the Naval Academy, we hear about a lot of people, what they've done for our country and the things that they have done. And so we just, I just sit back in my room today and I was like, wow, one day I'm going to be somebody that's protecting our country, actually like on the ship or in the Marines, doing what, I, doing what I can do to help my country out. So it's really like special to know that I'm going to be one of those persons, a part of the group of people that have been able to do that in their lives. So it's like a special moment to be here so I can be able to serve my country. Think about a lot of guys you played with that have graduated here the last couple of years that are serving somewhere too? Yeah, like I talk to him a lot. Um, I talk to Gigi a lot. I talk to Joffrey a lot. Um, Darius, I talk to him and Marcus a lot. So um, just hearing what they're doing out there for the country is like really special. Like they are out there serving, but they also having enjoying what they're doing. So I feel like if I they could do it, I can be out there and do it one one day as well. Last question: What 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 does it mean to you to be in this brotherhood? It means a lot to me. I mean, like coming from where I'm from, I'm coming from a small town in Mississippi. Uh, everybody really knows each other. So once I got here, it's like, I felt like the same bond. Like we just one, one group, one small group. No one really like, no one like, we look, they look down on us because we're like a small team. Everybody like, oh, this Navy coming through. So like the group, the brotherhood that we have here, it's like so special that we're going to make sure we do what we can for our brothers. And on the field, we, we you can see that we're playing for each other, no matter what play it is. Like if it's Chris getting the ball, I'm blocking hard. Like, I can't for him. If Kenny get the ball, I'm blocking hard for him. If DeMond get, I'm blocking hard for them. So you can tell like the brotherhood is really special. We love each other. And I'm glad I can be a part of something like that.